utak ang gagamitin natin sa board exam. Kaya napaka-importante na it is in a good condition. And one way to improve our brain functions is to eat brain foods. Dahil nakaka-apekto ang mga kinakain natin sa brain performance natin. At sa video na to, pag-uusapan natin ang top 10 best foods and beverages for the brain. Ito ang mga magagandang kinakain habang nagre-review or habang nag-board exam kung gusto mong ma-improve ang memory and brain functions mo. So pay attention! I'm Engineer Charvin and this is Top Nature Tips PH giving you tips and advice on how to prepare and pass the board exam. And this video is about the 10 best foods and beverages for your brain. Number 1 is fish. Fish is rich in omega-3 and DHA. These nutrients are essential for learning and memory. The brain uses omega-3 to create new brain cells and nerve cells. Kaya kumain ka ng isda, tulad ng tuna, sardinas, at mackerel. Alternatively, pwede ka ding mag-take ng fish oil, as long as hindi ka allergic doon. Number 2 is dark chocolate. Noong college, chess player ako, at during tournaments, kumakain ako ng dark chocolate. Pati nung board exam, nagbaon at kumain din ako ng dark chocolate. So I'm a fan of dark chocolate kasi it is also a brain food. Meron siyang tinatawag na flavonoids which protects the brain from damage. Flavonoids is a mood booster. It also enhances logical thinking and improves memory. Kaya I suggest na kumain ka din ng dark chocolate habang nagre-review or habang nag board exam. Number 3 is a lot of water. Kapag dehydrated ka, hindi ka makakapag-isip ng maayos at hindi makakapag-function normally ang utak mo. So it is very important to stay hydrated. At ang best and simplest way to hydrate yourself is to drink plain water. Uminom ka ng madaming tubig pero wag mong bibiglain. Uminom ka ng paunti-unti pero drink frequently. Kasi kapag binigla mo yan, maiihi ka which is very hassle sa board exam. So drink a lot of water pero paunti-unti lang. Number 4 is coffee. Coffee is good for the brain dahil sa caffeine content niya. Ang epekto ng caffeine ay increased alertness, improved mood, and sharpened concentration. Ginigising ka niya and it makes your mind sharper. Pero temporary lang ang epekto nito. After a few hours, mawawala din. Huwag mo din sosobrahan uminom ng kape dahil asidik to. Pwedeng sumakit ang chan mo, lalo na kung hindi ka sanay or acidic ka. Number 5 is vegetables. Ang mga gulay are good for the health and they are also good for the brain. Isa sa mga best vegetables for the brain is broccoli. Dahil meron nitong vitamin K, vitamin C, and other antioxidants. Vitamin K helps improve the memory and vitamin C slows down the aging process of the brain. And the other antioxidants found in broccoli reduces cell damage in the brain. Before we continue, meron ulit tayong giveaway na worth 100 pesos load. Last time, ang winner natin ay si Jasmine Bontia. So nanalo siya ng worth 100 pesos load. Ngayon naman, meron ka ulit chance na manalo. Madali lang gagawin mo para makasali ka sa promo natin. I-like mo lang tong video na to, tapos i-comment mo sa baba kung ano yung course na gusto mo pero hindi mo kinuha. Ganun lang kadali. So i-pause mo muna tong video na to, click the like button, at i-comment mo na sa baba kung ano yung course na gusto mo pero hindi mo kinuha. I-announce ko yung winner next Sunday, November 3. Now going back to our brain foods, number 6 is fruits. Kapag brain foods ang pinag-uusapan, hindi mawawala ang mga prutas. Madaming nutrients ang mga prutas, vitamins, and antioxidants. Isa sa mga prutas na may sasuggest ko sa'yo ay orange. Madami kang mabibiling orange. Kung wala, pwede naman ang orange juice. Another one is tomato. Yes, you heard it right. Tomato or kamatis in Tagalog. 
prutas ang kamatis, hindi gulay. So ang kamatis ay rich in vitamin C and other antioxidants. Number 7 are nuts. Nuts are also considered as brain foods. They are rich in zinc, omega-3, and vitamin E. Zinc is crucial for nerve signaling. Kapag kulang ka sa zinc, pwede ang magkaroon ng neurological disorders tulad ng Alzheimer's, pag-uulyanin, or pagiging makakalimutin. So make sure to include nuts in your diet. Number 8 is tea. Especially green tea. Tulad ng kape, ang tea ay mayroong caffeine which is good for alertness, concentration, and sharper mind. Other than that, madami din itong antioxidants which prevent cell damage in the brain. At meron din itong tinatawag na L-theanine which helps you relax without making you feel tired. Kaya nakaka-relax uminom ng tsaa. Kung ayaw mo naman ng tsaa, pwede rin ng nest tea or iced tea tulad ng C2. Number 9 are beans. Beans are also good for the brain dahil napakadami nitong essential nutrients tulad ng vitamin C, iron, potassium, magnesium, vitamin B6, at iba pa. Kaya magandang kumain ng beans tulad ng sitaw at munggo. Pero huwag ka lang kakain ng beans the night before or during the board exam dahil gasi ito, mahangin sa chan. Kaya baka kabagin ka. Number 10 are eggs. Hindi totoo yung sinasabi nila na mazizero ka daw kapag kumain ka ng itlog sa exam. Alam ko hindi yun totoo dahil kasama yun sa mga baon ko nung nag-board exam ako. In fact, eggs are good for the brain. It's one of the healthiest foods you can eat. Napakadami nitong nutrients and vitamins which include vitamin B6 and B12. Tong dalawang vitamins na to ay essential for better memory and brain functions. So kumain ka lang ng itlog, madali nang lutuin, healthy pa, and it's also good for the brain. So ito yung mga dapat mong kinakain o iniinom habang nagre-review o nagbo-board exam ka. Number 1 is fish. Number 2, dark chocolate. Number 3, a lot of water. Number 4, coffee. Number 5, vegetables. Number 6, fruits. Number 7, nuts. Number 8 is tea. Number 9 is beans. And number 10, eggs. These are the top 10 brain foods you can eat for the board exam. So that's it for today. If you learned something useful, don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe dahil meron akong mga bagong board exam tips para sa'yo every week. For more board exam tips, visit my channel or pumili ka lang sa mga videos na mag sa screen. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.